Hi, I'm CJ Almerig with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. We've got a used stock combo. Now, if you watch our videos, you know that these stock combos are extremely versatile trailers. They're very, very popular. You can do so many different things with them. Uh, just because you've got a tack room that you can lock up, but then you've got that stall area that you can put livestock in, you can put horses in, and at times you can even put toys in them. So again, a lot of versatility with the trailers. You can do a lot of different things with them. Now, we do take trade-ins here. So if you're looking to upgrade, maybe you're even looking to downsize, we can help you out with that. So don't be afraid if you think like, man, I, I, I really have this big living quarters and now I just don't need it anymore. I would like to jump into a stock combo like this. We can do those type of trades down as well. So that's not a problem at all. Uh, the other thing is, is we do buy trailers. So if you've got a trailer sitting around, you want to turn it into some cash, let us know, give us a call. We can help you out with that and uh, get the trailer purchased. That's actually how we ended up with this trailer here. The gentleman just didn't need this trailer anymore. He built it custom, uh, brand new. It is a 2014 Logan Coach Stockman combo. And what we're looking at here is a 28 foot combo. And as we walk through this, I'll show you, it's, a, it's actually a, a eight foot tack room. And then we've got a bigger stall area that we'll show you here in a little bit, a 20 foot stall area, uh, but a lot of tack on this one. And he built it eight foot wide. So there's definitely there's a lot of cool things that they upgraded to on this trailer. Uh, but let's talk to you about when we get a used trailer in. When we get them in, one of the first things we look at is tires. We want them to match. We want them to be within date. That's five years of age based on those date codes. Uh, and we all want good tread. Now, if, that, if it doesn't meet all those requirements, you know, we'll look at putting a brand new set of uh, tires on the trailer. So you don't have to worry about that when you purchase the trailer and you know, have blowouts on the way home. I mean, a, a lot of times we get pictures of, of uh, tires and customers say, oh, there's a lot of tread left on them. Well, that's good. But what's the date code on the sidewall? Again, that five years of age based on that date code. Uh, because what'll happen is, is those tires will start to break down. Maybe there's some weather checking, some cracks on the side. That's what causes those blowouts. The other thing is, is alignment. If a trailer is out of alignment, just like a passenger vehicle can do, uh, it's gonna have bad tire wear, which can cause those blowouts as well. So we realign every single trailer. We take a snapshot of when we put it on the machine versus after, and we keep that on file. So we can keep those records, and if we have to reference them ever, we do have that. But um, the axle manufacturers have actually been to our facility. Uh, we always say that their window's here and our window's here. Our window is tighter on how we want these trailers to run want them to run straight down the road and true for you so again we're not having bad tire wear and blowouts you sitting on the side of the road dealing with those type issues and then we go through the trailer everything safety is automatic you know if we need new brakes we put them on lights have to work everything has to be up to to, to snuff as far as that's concerned um, but that's the main thing is with our reconditioning program we try to put these trailers through a lot just so when you come to purchase it and pick it up you can go enjoy the trailer and not have all those issues and things to fix on the trailer itself. But they did upgrade some stuff on this trailer. Let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, one of the very first things you'll notice underneath the, the gooseneck deck there is a jack that is a uh, electric jack. That way, boy, you can push a button, up, down it goes. Uh, it, it is the electric over hydraulic. Now it doesn't have the manual override like we put on our Cimarron's. Um, so basically, if you get in a, a power issue type of scenario, typically you can hook it up to the truck and let it run for a few minutes and you have enough juice to go up or down. Or if you absolutely have to, you can just put a, a jumper on the battery itself that's located in the tack room that I'll show you here in a minute. But boy, on this size of a trailer, again, 20, 28 foot on the floor, eight foot wide, these trailers tend to get a little bit heavier, especially when you start loading up the front tack room. So being able to just push a button makes life a lot easier and a lot better in my opinion. On a uh, Logan, you're dealing with a galvanized steel frame, aluminum body. So you have the strength of the steel, but it lightens it up and gives it that aluminum finish look to it by having the aluminum sides, the sheeting on it, the extrusion. Uh, again, giving it that cleaner look in my opinion. Now, this one's got an oversized front tack room. 
That's where, again, 28 foot with a 20 foot stall, eight foot front tack. So doors on driver's side, you've got a brush tray on the door. These are heavy duty doors that Logan builds on their standard models, especially the Stockmans. You, easiest way to tell is if it's square at the top. If it's rounded at the top, it's a prefab door. It's really lightweight. It's almost like a piece of paper in your hand. On those doors, in my opinion, you should lock them when you go actually traveling down the road because the right bump will get them to pop open. So as we get in here, as you can see, this thing is big. It's big, it's spacious, you know, eight foot long, eight foot wide because of the box width on this trailer. So you got a lot of floor space, a lot of things you can just do. Now, if you look at these saddle racks, these actual pads here, you'll notice that these are actually more of today's version. So uh, a couple years ago, Logan changed their saddle rack design. These are the new ones. So the customer actually upgraded to have these on the walls themselves. Um, so there's three here, and then there's three directly behind the camera right now. We'll step over here. There they are. So it actually flows really well. You've got these saddles right as you come into the door. You have floor space you can get around, and then you've got the other three. And then directly behind me is a four-tier blanket pole rack. So you can put pads, blankets on here, slide them against uh, the actual wall itself. But again, nothing really uh, protruding or kind of taking up a lot of space here on the floor. So if there's other items, you can go in and add more, uh, you know, whether it's more saddle racks or blanket poles, anything like that, you can actually add to this trailer. It's kind of a blank canvas as far as that's concerned. Over to the left up in the, the gooseneck deck area, there's that battery that's going to run that jack. Directly above that is a clothes rod, so you can hang some clothes up there as well. Uh, with it being eight foot wide, you can put a real big mattress up here on this deck if you want. You have your windows to create a cross breeze. You can look out as well in this, in this trailer here. But again, big, big tack room. You can do a lot of different things with it. And then on the partition wall, before we head out, you'll notice it's carpeted all the way across and it's got bridle hooks all the way across as well. So you can hang a lot of different tack up there. And we like the carpet behind those just because of, one, we don't have those, those bits, that tack actually rubbing against a wall, rubbing against maybe some aluminum, metal type scenarios where it's scuffing everything up. Uh, but also it deadens some noise too when you actually get into the stall area for the animals themselves. So directly behind it is actually gonna be the escape door. So this very first area, and we'll show you when we get to the, when we really get in the stall area, but there's a cut gate kind of directly behind this. And from the partition wall to this first gate right here, we'll create a four foot stall. So you have a four foot stall right here at the front. Um, it actually works really good for maybe some additional storage for you. If you're wanting to haul some hay, some shavings, those type items, you can access them right here. Maybe you're going camping, you want to put a cooler right here, you can access everything when you stop to fuel up. Don't have to worry about crawling through the animals to get to that. Or if you've got maybe like a, almost like a stud stall if you want. Uh, there's plenty of room because of the width of this trailer and it's a good size stall so they're good and comfortable there. You've got tie rings. Tie rings can always be added. On this side here, there's five of them. Uh, basically, wherever there's an upright post, we could go in and add additional to those as well. Now on this trailer, it's got two 7,000 uh, rubber torsion axles. These are really good heavy duty tires. These are 14 plies. Now, you know, you might think 7K on a 28 footer, is that enough? Well, you have to think about the size of that tack room and the stall area we're actually dealing with. So the engineers, when they, when they de actually design the trailer and look at the load capacity, that's where they look at and say, okay, you know, these are adequate axles for this. Now, obviously when they first built it, they upgraded to the G rated tires, which I would continue to run. I mean, there's, you put a good set of tires underneath it. The one thing about G rated tires too, is their sidewalls a little bit taller than like your traditional 10 plies that you see on a lot of trailers, uh, as far as these runaround trailers go. So again, if you're taking this trailer off road, it actually picks the box up a little bit more. Now, they did have plexiglass in the escape door and then on the other side that I'll show you, it's the clear plexiglass.
but they didn't have the plexiglass back here at the rest of the stall area. There is a track built in. About any plastic place you can go by, have it measured, cut, and you can actually install it. Now, it gets a little tricky because you're dealing with these actual uh, releases for the slam gates in there, but you can work around those. So if you wanted to add plexiglass to this trailer, that is an option that you could do down the road. Then as you can see that, that side extrusion there, again, it gives it that aluminum look to the trailer. Uh, again, we were talking about it being a galvanized steel frame, aluminum body. Now the stall area here, you know, we have this, I got the gate open right now. We'll show you how that operates here in a minute. But as you can see, big wide opening here with it being eight foot wide, obviously we have the wheel wells all on the inside of the trailer, but you have two cut gates in this trailer. Again, that first one up front is gonna be a four foot section. So again, additional storage, or again, it works as almost like a stud stall there. Then behind it, you have another eight foot stall and then at the rear an eight foot stall. So these rear two stalls are the same size with a cut gate in the middle. And then at the front, we've got that four foot. So you've got some flexibility on what you wanna do as far as maybe some different stall sizes, not to say you have to have a gate shut uh, at, at all times in either one of these scenarios. You could open up like this first one here and then, hey, you've got a 12 foot stall. So maybe if you get into a scenario where you need a little bit bigger, you can do that or obviously get them out of the way, store them to the side, and then you've got a 20 foot stall area from there back. You see the vortex lining. It's like a bed liner that they use. You probably noticed a little bit of that when we were looking at that gooseneck drop wall. It's really stout, durable stuff. Um, we really like it. I think it also dens a lot of the noise in these stall areas. And then you've got some lights in here and then it caps off with an aluminum sheeted roof. Now, I want you to notice that a lot of Logans, as far as where their price point falls and where they get compared to, a lot of those manufacturers will have a flat roof. Uh, so, you know, as we get into these type of states like Colorado where we get snow, you know, what we want is we want that snow to melt and get off the roofs. It'll help with the roof seals on these trailers. So there is a little bit of a bow to the actual roof on this trailer. And then you've got the rubber mats. And then this is Logan's Whizproof flooring. So these are actually aluminum planks that are vortex lined. So like that bed liner, like I was just showing you on the sidewalls. But as you can see, they run the length of the trailer. There's a gap between them and they actually have them on an angle, the actual planks themselves. And that's so, again, we've got those gaps so water urine can actually hit those gaps and out the bottom they go. But because they're on an angle, it doesn't allow for that water or road splash to come up from the bottom itself. So as we look at this back gate here, you have the slam latch, which is really important in my opinion for safety purposes. If you're loading some livestock in here and maybe you're doing different compartments or the full stall area itself, once you get them in there, they're gonna start wanting to push back on you. Having that slam latch to be able to go ahead and shut it and then secure it here as well is really important in my opinion for safety. And then you do have a slide gate as well on, on this back. So if you're butting up against an alleyway, something along those lines, you can actually utilize that as well. Now, with this trailer being eight foot wide in today's market on this size of a trailer, I mean, you're looking at about a $4,000 upgrade at least in this type of a scenario. So there's definitely some extras on this trailer that really give it, you know, a lot of uh, just appeal to it um, from the standpoint of that big tack room, having that electric over hydraulic jack on it, having those two cut gates so you have three compartments that's really important a lot of times on these type of trailers you'll just see one cut gate when we're dealing with a 20 foot stall but you've got some flexibility in this in this trailer here as far as that's concerned so and hey who doesn't want a stock combo to be able to do different things so uh, you know most of the time we see 20s and 24s you do see some occasional 28s but hey a 28 by 8 uh, definitely has some value there and again a big tack room on it so this trailer is available today. 
I'm gonna give you the stock number on it because if you're interested in it, you can give us a call, just reference it, and the sales team can pull it up and visit with you about it. Again, it's a 2014 Logan Coach Stockman Combo, 28 by eight. Stock number is 5U220811. So give us a call. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.